Hi, this is Dr. Dan from MedicalMastermindCommunity.com. Pre-medical decision making is the topic on this webpage, and I wanted to talk for a minute about this idea of strategy and your overall strategic approach. Usually, students are preoccupied with tactics, things like how do I score better on a test, how do, do I ace the MCAT, what can I do about my GPA. Well, without realizing it, often, because I did the same thing, uh, we're focusing too much on the little details when we really need to step back sometimes and think about our overall strategy. So on this webpage, I specifically devoted it to things like choosing osteopath versus allopath, um, US, UK, Canadian and Caribbean choices, as well as a lot of other practice setting type ideas. So if you're having a little trouble wrapping your brain around how to strategically approach the whole idea of becoming a physician and what this is going to do to your life, then this web page is perfect for you. Here is what this page is going to look like after you log in. Under pre-medical decision making you'll see UK and US medical student career choices. So this is looking ahead at what medical students choose to go into and their reasons for choosing different specialties. So you can see where your personality fits in with these guys. Um, admission requirements, pretty basic stuff that go into decision making. There's Canadian med student choices here. I've got a whole article on deciding on a career in medicine. All the different things that are important uh, regarding that. Um, ECFMG certification fact sheet and a booklet. This is for uh, foreign medical graduates of medical schools looking to come to uh, the United States to go into residency. Four reasons to avoid medical school. You definitely want to take a look at that because interestingly uh, the guy that I did wrote this article with uh, since changed his mind decided to go to medical school. So these are the same arguments and you get to read this article and see what side of the argument do you stand on. Some people look at the same reason and say that's a reason not to go to medical school. Other people say that's a reason to go to medical school. Very, very interesting. Then medical school affects undergraduate choices. So look at the statistics on what uh, pre-med students are doing out there in undergrad when they say they want to become pre-med. It's pretty revealing. And then here are the seven osteopathic competencies. This is what the DO schools are looking for in a pre-med applicant. And then I have podcasts on admission rates, admission requirements, deciding on a career in medicine, four reasons to avoid medical school, and osteopathic medical training. What makes it so different, or is it different at all? That's what you get whenever you log in to medicalmastermindcommunity.com.